Welcome to Old World Exploration. Uh, in this exploration, we're going to be talking a little bit about truth and a little bit about justice as we explore the courthouses of the United States, county by county. We're going to be zooming in on five in particular, just to highlight some of the uh, um, interesting bits of information. And some people ask, why do we, uh, why do you focus so much on America? Coming to America first, the cradle of the best of the worst. It's here they got the range and the machinery for change. It's here they got the spiritual thirst. Okay, maybe that helps answer your question. So we're going to roll through some of these courthouses before I get to the five in focus. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, justice, right? These are buildings uh, positioned county by county um, with the purpose of um, doling out justice. And I don't think we can have any sort of justice without truth. In these courthouses they come upon a decision based on information from both sides and typically a panel of peers makes a decision on whether or not um, one party was telling the truth or one or the other party was so it really is centered around truth and I think this is an opportunity for me to highlight the importance of truth um, in all everything we do um, I think uh, it's a safe bet if you center your existence around such a concept. Um, a lot of people say truth is love. Uh, I think there's, that's true as well. I think there's, there's, a, there's a difference. Lies, lies would be hateful, I think. And, uh, truth represents love. So I think uh, um, in this community, as we peel back the layers of time and peer into these... Uh, old buildings and scratch our heads and recognize that um, there's a lie that needs to be uncovered and we need to get closer to this truth and that's all we're trying to do nobody's presenting um, nobody that I know of is presenting any uh, solid uh, answers but what we're really doing is um, highlighting the uh, deception so in that spirit, let's take a closer look at five courthouses in particular. Uh, these were chosen at random and uh, really could be anywhere in the States. And I'll, I'll show you a website, an interesting website that you can poke around yourself on as well. And the first place we're going to be looking is in Muncie, Indiana, right here. It is the Delaware County Courthouse. And here we have a nice horse and buggy era photo of a, what looks to be what we might consider a European style building. And here we have the demolition of the building. I don't have a date on the demolition. And some of these still stand and some of them are gone. So we have the statue on top um, old world building like we see in so many of my videos More recent photo uh, so we're looking at Muncie here's the population of Muncie here so modern day we're sitting at 65,000 so smaller to mid-sized city I look at the population in 1850 love that um, here's when it was built so, 1887, designed by Brentwood Tolan. Um, let's have a look again. 1887, so we're in here. So we're less than 10,000 people, with maybe 10,000 people living in this town at the time. But of course, the uh, the most important thing in society would be law and order. So you have to get your courthouse up, and 
they never really tell us start to finish on a lot of these old buildings i shouldn't say never but often um so they're just giving us a year it was built so are we to assume it took one year or is it just left vague because i know uh this would be quite the undertaking in modern day so as always it doesn't fit the bill here's what it looked the modern day version of the courthouse in muncie indiana looks like so you can do the math on that next one we're going to look at is oh we're still in muncie sorry um this um a screenshot of from the website i'll be showing you um, I like this because it kind of gives you a progression. There's one here also built, they say built in 1837, still having old world look. Um, you can look around on the website if you want to see more. Um, but it's giving you a progression through time, trying to illustrate the difference there. Now we get to Paris. Now we're going across state lines for this. Um, okay, over here, Paris, Illinois, Edgar County Courthouse. Paris, Illinois. All right, quite a spectacular building, if you ask me. It's still standing today, and I like these modern day, the ones that survived down through time. Of course, we know it was built in 1891 because we have this plaque up here that says 1891. So they've dated it for us, so that there's no question about when it was built. I appreciate that. But I look at the texture. Whenever I see these types of buildings, it's the texture that jumps out at me. The texture of the stone, um, and then the accuracy and how everything fits together so nicely. Uh, so if you're, whatever town you live in, doesn't matter what size, if you've got buildings that look, look like this, they're screaming at you, old world. We just need to open our eyes to, to what we're seeing, in my opinion. And with Paris, not much of a population, even modern day. And this one built, this is 1891. So about 5,000 people living in this town and recognizing, of course, the importance of having a courthouse. And why wouldn't you build it like this? Next place we're going to be looking is the metropolis of Indianapolis. Uh, Quite a spectacular old world city filled with all sorts of gems but in this video we're just going to be taking a look at the county courthouse and here again that snippet showing you and we have another a previous one before this um, 1824 interesting and then the modern day um, brutalist skyscraper I guess you could call it and here's the beauty right here horse and buggy era look at the again the texture the depth of the building itself take a look at the tech we have going on up here really spectacular it's got to be more than decoration look look at why would you go to the trouble of putting that on a building just for looks are you really that cultured is that really what it's about i don't think so Again, you have the gate up here as well. So really, really something special, this building. Really something special. It's a, it's a shame. There you have them again. All the way up to the top. Looks like we've got a flagpole. Okay. A couple more of these. I didn't provide a population. I'm sure all of you realize that Indianapolis is a large city. Um, here we have a photograph dating back into the 1870s, I believe. The old Marion County Courthouse built in 1876. This baby was built in 1876, just after the Civil War. Reconstruction period, of course, right? Um, torn down in the 1860s, didn't get 100 years out of this thing. Here we have some rare interior shots. Another one where you have all the stairwells showing you a bit of the decoration. I'm well, sure it would be nice to see more of this. And a shot from the exterior before they tore this baby down. And there it is, 1961, this thing gets torn down. I'm sure that was a serious undertaking as well. So less than 100 years out of that one. Now we are moving on to 
um, Miami County, um, Peru, uh, Indiana. Never heard of it before. This is all member random sampling. Miami County Courthouse, horse and buggy era. Had to have the clock tower, had to have all of the decorations that come with it because of the importance of having a courthouse because justice and truth are so important. And modern day Peru, 11,000 people. This one being built somewhere back here. Again, we get the same story. Um, just a handful of thousand people living here. And then this is a second generation building. I think they're trying to tell us it's built on the same site. I, I don't trust these old photographs. Um, if you follow Mind Unveiled, uh, they did a, a recent video on the uh, fakery going on in old photographs. I suggest checking that out. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Um, hard to trust any of these modified photographs. And then, of course, we have the tower coming down. This is 1906 um, postcard. So there you have the, a bit of the progression. So built, they're saying 1858, this one. There comes a time where they, they chop the top off here and it's a flat top. And then eventually that ends up coming down. 1858, this, come on. This does not jive with our historical narrative whatsoever. And the last one we're going to be having a look at is in Lafayette, Indiana. Um, Tippecanoe, I'm saying that right, county? Tippecanoe? <laughs> well, I'm Canadian, eh? It's Tippecanoe. Okay, and there's a nice uh, visual of the um, Tippecanoe County Courthouse in Lafayette, Indiana. Still stands to this day. So we have some good visuals of of uh, the exterior. We have some of the interior as well. You can see here the details on the, the capitals on the columns, dental moldings. This is looking up into the rotunda, I believe. And they're saying this one was built in 1882. Um, so the same narrative seems to repeat itself. A little bit bigger, Lafayette, uh, modern day, 70,000 people. 1882, we're looking at about 15,000 people living there, feeling the need to build a uh, courthouse um, in this type of manner. Not just a log home, not a two-story um, platform frame building, two, uh, two sets of floors. No, no basement. These all go deep into the ground and high into the sky. So, I don't know. Are you getting the picture? Or are you buying the, uh, buying the official version, the McDonald's version? <laughs> no offense. I mean, if you like McDonald's, go ahead and get yourself a Happy Meal. Whatever makes you happy. I'll just show you the website I found these on. So it's called courthousehistory.com. Um, I'll just do a random search now. Let's take a look at Massachusetts. I don't know any of these counties really. Let's take a look at Plymouth. And then it'll allow you to, let's go to this one, zoom in and have a closer look at these buildings. So it's a really interesting uh, uh, website to get an idea. And I like how it gives you the build date on it. Um, let's try another one. And then we'll end the video. It's kind of fun, right? Let's try Texas. Texas, is, oh, I can't believe how many counties are in Texas. Uh, limestone? I gotta have something in limestone. Okay, limestone Texas courthouse. What do you think? Old world? So you, I'm sure you could research all these small towns and then figure out how many people live there and, and then try to cram that into their given historical narrative, but uh, don't, don't advise uh, trying to fit so much into such a narrow little uh, slot. <laughs> okay, I think we'll leave it there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little discussion about truth and justice and a little peek into the courthouses of America.
Thanks for watching.